Hey guys, uh, Dimas back here. Uh, first of all, I would like to apologize about my voice because I was actually having fever for about more than a week, and I could, I haven't somehow got my voice normally right now. So, um, haven't flown anything for the last four weeks, right? But I have finished uh, constructing my uh, Northrop T-38 Talon G1R. It will somehow be a fascinating day for me uh, for uh, the maiden flight of this uh, Talon. So here we are. I would make a short walk around video uh, for this T-38 Talon G1R. Um, the looks is actually dazzling from my point of view. Uh, it has the area row that uh, would somehow bring positive uh, impact on this uh, T-38 as well as it has airfoil, right? And it has huge and spacious uh, room underneath the canop canopy, right? Okay. And then I extend the... Um, battery cable from the ASC down to the uh, canopy space I'm using four uh, servos to control four control surfaces. It will have elevons for rows, but only uh, elevators for pitch. I'm using the same uh, sunny sky uh, to 600. KV motor with KGMP uh, 6x4 prop. It's actually highly recommended by our colleague RC Plane Pirate from UK. And okay, let us look under what's underneath it. Okay. Okay. I made a small hatch here. Okay. Let's let's just see it before we have the maiden flight. Okay. Okay, this small head was actually created to help me giving space and access to the RX right there. Okay. I'm using Delta 8 RX as I will use my Futaba uh, 10J uh, transmitter, okay, for this maiden flight. Okay, just just take this once again, and I'm using uh, 50 amps Hobby Wing Skywalker ESC, um, and it will somehow fly driven by. 1800 uh, pulse uh, 3S battery. So this is it. This is the basically the uh, Northrop T38 Talon T1R, uh, the latest Spark Flyers International uh, park jets. And our colleagues, uh, Jeff Reimer, uh, Ian. Bought, as well as uh, Peter Holmgren had built, and Jeff and Ian actually su uh, successfully had their maiden flights with this uh, T-38. From uh, what they say about this plane, it's actually fast. It's very stable and pit sensitive as well. So I would somehow rather set uh, the expo for this. T38 on my setup. So wish me luck, guys. Hopefully, hoping, hoping to see this uh, T38 fly as well today. Okay. Hi, right, guys. Uh, finally, um, I will have the chance to have my Northrop T38 Talon UNR maiden flight today. Uh, it's a bit cloudy, but it's quite quite good 
when it seems to be very low to zero. Very, very nice. And hopefully I could somehow have a good bathing flight with this. So I'm actually having uh, four control services for row, but only uh, elevators for pitch. And the good thing is that the CG is actually located located here uh, within this uh, uh, um, uh, the joints edge from front section and V section so we just actually made it very easy to uh, look for the CG and <laughs> I'm a bit nervous right now <laughs> it's been four weeks since my last flight <laughs> better check everything first okay everything seems to be good um, I remember that uh, Ian told me that um, I only need about 40 percent of throttle on the hand launch let me try for oh that's that's lots of thrust for sure <sighs> oh gosh I guess this is it. Um, let me try to double check everything first. Right, yes, left, yes, up, down, okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. I felt. The thrust already. 40%. Very nice hand, hand launch. There. No surprising things on hand launch. Very stable. A few circular circle circling first. <sighs> Gosh, I'm so nervous at the moment. Very stable. Now, okay, I'm actually putting it to 50% throttle now. I'll try to make some uh, flow passes after this. What is the wind like? The wind is picking up right now. Very nice. Okay, let's try some uh, high speed. Whoa, 
<laughs> it's good. Oh man, it's good, it's good, it's good. Very nice indeed. It floats well. Unlimited vertical. It rolls well too. It was actually around 70% of throttle or the unlimited vertical. Now let's draw a loop. So, seems like the wind is um, really strong up there. Tapi udah mau landing nih, Pak. <laughs> when tossing it to the air but it seems like it behaves very very well so Firefly's International Northrop T-38 Talon U1R it flies nicely very stable yeah quite fast as well but I guess I didn't have quite enough to actually spin it um, I think fly fast because uh, this is actually my first flight again after four weeks uh, being absent being absent in flying my plane okay very nice guidelines and definitely a keeper plan will send have be available very soon at www.flyersinternational.com uh, Okay, this is Demo from uh, Flyers International. Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Cheers!